I had been having headaches for many years and eye exams showed nothing. When I was homeschooling my children, one of the things I used to love, te or love teaching them, one of our stories we read a lot about was Helen Keller. So when you start going through sight problems, you just can't believe that you took your sight for granted all those years. You can't believe that you didn't thank God for your sight every moment of every day. She was having pain and blurred vision, a lot of anxiety. We repaired her iris and her anterior chamber and did a DMEC, which is a mini corneal transplant on her. We are fortunate in the United States, and in particular in Alabama, we have great access to corneal donor tissue, and we have uh, great suppliers of donor tissue, so we can be very choosy, and that's uh, generally not an issue, as it is in most of the world. I can see the ceiling fan. <laughs> it's like the fan above my bed. And I was like, oh, I can see the ceiling fan this morning. Every day it would be the first thing I would see was the ceiling fan. <laughs> and then I'd see, can I see that? Can I see that? <laughs> so uh, I began, in the end, when Fridays were coming around, I was thinking, oh, the Shabbat, Sabbath, Sabbath is approaching, and that became my time making sure by, by the time the Sabbath came that I'd written to Dr. Parker because <laughs> I just wanted to write to him and say thank you. Dear Dr. Parker, I hope this letter finds you well. Thank you for your encouragement and support. I apologize for worrying so much. I imagine it's the same for all people. When you have a life-changing surgery, you just cannot avoid thinking of the surgeon every day. I do think of you every day. I'm so thankful and I also think of the donor family. I did not realize how much my life was not properly lived for the past two years. So thank you, Dr. Parker. I try to be fully aware of moments in my days now. Getting back to my old self, I did not really drive for two years. So now while I am on the road, I take extra moments to look at the trees, that's true, and greenery, or a road sign that I can see now. Thank you for the years you have invested in learning what you do, helping countless people that pass through your clinic. Warm regards to you and your lovely team, Miriam. Being a donor, obviously it changes someone's life who is still living and, and through the eyes, it's very unfortunate, but through the eyes of a, a donor, someone else can maybe fulfill their purpose in life and have the ability to see to fulfill their purpose, whatever purpose God has given them to do. That donor has helped them to continue. Maybe, you know, it just allows to please God to keep bringing good to the world somehow through the blessing of vision, as you said.